Today, myself and the crew, about eight, nine, ten of us, we are doing Channel Cat egg collection. Typically starts around June 1st every year when the water temperatures in the ponds reach about 75 degrees. We put 40, 30 gallon barrels in a four acre pond at the bottom of the hatchery. And once a week, and we go down there and we kind of sneak up on the barrels. You can see, sometimes you can see the cats sitting there. Typically, if there's a male in front of the barrel outside, then there's a female inside the barrel guarding the eggs. So you kind of sneak up and you can scare them around and lift the barrel up. And sometimes a female comes splashing out and splashes you. Other times you kind of have to reach in and I always called it New Jersey noodling. Like if you're down in the you know, Louisiana noodling. So you get the cat out, the adult, and uh, a lot of times there's egg masses and they, they, they're kind of like frog egg. They're uh, big gelatinous masses. These channel cats down here in the pond that we're talking about are about five years old. So they're five to 15 pounds right now, really nice, you know, 30 inch channels. So the masses can be like three, four, five pounds of eggs. So we collect them up, we put them in a five gallon bucket. And as we walk around the pond, there's usually th three teams of two checking barrels. We get all the masses in five gallon buckets. And then we bring them up into our intensive culture building and we weigh them. We have a grand scale. We take an egg mass out of the barrel, put it on a gram scale in a bowl. We take it and we break the small into like baseball sized clumps. And then we add the solution that was developed in, in Iowa by the state. It's sodium sulfide, a little tiny bit of hydrochloric acid and water. And that dissolves the matrix. So we have the eggs now broken into baseball sized pieces. And we take a, a stirring stick and we stir that for like three to five minutes in that solution. And that breaks down this matrix. Then we inventory them into a graduated cylinder, put the graduated cylinder into cylindrical Donald's hatching jars. And now the eggs are free flowing and that keeps the eggs whirling in the jar bottom. And it takes three to five days, depending on how far along the eggs were in the pond. You might have five different colors from five different days. They only take about five days to hatch. It's awesome. It's one of our favorite couple weeks of the year. Everybody says it makes it a game. You know, you reach into the bucket. Is there going to be a fish in there? You know, who gets the most egg masses? It's kind of like one of the fun parts of the year for us.